Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're taking a look at a Watch OS 10 Developer Beta 1. Now, I have to be honest, I'm never excited over the new Watch OS updates, but this year, Watch OS 10 has definitely got me excited. I wanted to share with you guys the new watch faces, the new home screen elements, animations, and everything else in between. What's got me excited over Watch OS 10? One of the biggest updates to the Apple Watch UI, in my opinion, definitely. Now, Watch OS 10 is compatible with Apple Watch Series 4 or newer so series 4 5 6 7 se 8 and of course the apple watch ultra as well so let's go ahead and dive right into this video now the first thing i would like to talk about is the new watch faces there's two new watch faces we have a platter and we have a snoopy the snoopy one is very fun to look at every time you wake up your apple watch you see a new animation snoopy actually interacts with the actual time which is super fun to look at again if you're a fan you're gonna love this brand new watch face. Now we have the platter watch face as well here. Of course, you can further customize it with different colors, different elements, and things like that as we're accustomed to with the Apple Watch operating system. And I think you guys are gonna love both watch faces. If you're a fan of Snoopy, you're gonna definitely love this one, which gives it a lot of character. And the new platter one just looks very, very nice and optimized for the Apple Watch UI. Now, one of the biggest features coming to Watch OS 10 is the ability to turn the digital crown and take a look at that blur animation which brings us directly to the stack widget UI which gives us the date the time we also have some widget here available with activity calendar the weather the news and you can further customize these here at the bottom of the UI we also have some complications things like messages we also have things like the heart rate or the Apple music and you can customize these by long pressing just like on iPhone here and you can change these complications from a list of complications available here for you to choose from so you can go ahead and select whichever one you want press on the digital crown you're back here into the ui again take a look at the really cool animation so you swipe up on the digital crown here or turn the digital crown and the animation just looks fantastic honestly this blur effect directly from the watch face into the widget ui i think is brilliant now as we go back here onto the watch face and click on the digital crown we also have the new honeycomb view here for the home screen icons which is no longer a large bubble but more more of a vertical bubble as you can see right here with watch os 10 there's a lot of updates here as well so if we long press we now have the ability to edit that remove applications from the honeycomb and if we scroll all the way to the bottom we have the new list view which is available here as well which i really prefer over the honeycomb view or grid view if you will right there available within watch os 10. now with watch os 10 there's also a lot of optimizations within the operating system within control center the digital crown so now if we press the side button we now get the new control center and again look at that animation it's just so fluid so smooth it looks very much optimized i think apple just really dedicated a lot of time to watch os this year of course you can customize your control center by adding different elements just like you can on iphone and you also have the ability to see here your controls of things that are connected your silent mute switch and things like that again now control center is available by pressing on the side button there now when you double press on the digital crown you get the ui in order to remove apps from the background as well and again the animations just look very fluid within watch os 10 and now i want to go back to the home screen here for the icons because there's a lot of optimizations here and updates for things like cycling there's a lot of information a lot of updates coming to cycling this year so i'll link that in the description down below if you're into that we also have updates to hiking so the hiking is now available under the workouts categories here the maps application also received an update great ui i love what apple is doing with the maps application now one thing that's also been updated is the heart rate monitoring application take a look at the brand new ui again once again optimized for the large display it looks a lot nicer in my opinion as you can see right here is reading my heart rate right there with my fingers of course because i'm holding the apple watch but yeah the ui looks different here as well and i like what apple did with the compass application and so if you use the compass application of course you have your compass but now you have this new 3d view if you will where you can go ahead and add elements to your actual compass here to sort of create a map around you and see things like maybe if you uh, have a specific mountain you want to go to or any signs or you want to leave trails for someone else that's sharing your location you can do that as well you can change the color and things like that it looks really cool it's a really nice 3d looking ui as you can see right here for the compass application 
notification on your Apple Watch. Now also the Mindful application received an update here. So we have state of mind so you can log in how your day is going. So again, this is all focused in your mind state, right? So your mental health state, this is something that you can do every day and sort of just share how you're feeling, how your day is going and sort of just sort of keep track of your mental health. Now there's also a few things that I'm not liking in regards to watch OS 10. For example, you no longer have the ability to swipe left to right to change your watch faces. Remember when you can swipe through your watch faces and quickly change them? You can't really do that with watch OS 10. I'm not sure if that's a bug. Hopefully it is and hopefully Apple will bring that back to watch OS with watch OS 10 just swipe left or right to swipe through your watch faces no longer available here if you swipe up from the bottom you no longer get control center keep that in mind you now get your new widget stack ui control center now lies within pressing the side button here which I'm, i don't mind at all now one thing that i've noticed is that if you swipe up once you get the actual ui for your widgets but if you swipe up and hold you actually go into edit mode which is very interesting to see this sort of behavior as we do on the iphone on the Apple Watch. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys. Of course, there's a lot more optimizations around the operating system within messages, notes, phone, and things like that. But these are some of my best favorite features and things that I'm looking forward to and I wanted to share with you guys in regards to Watch OS 10. Again, this is beta one. A lot of things could change before the official final release, but so far I am loving what I'm seeing. I'm looking forward to Watch OS 10. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.